This was the exact moment when Vader realized Luke was his son. Shortly after the destruction of the Death Star, Vader sent bounty hunters to Tatooine, hoping to undercover the heritage of the mysterious boy who Obi-Wan Kenobi had trained, Skywalker. Boba Fett reported as he stood at a distance. As much as he searched, Fett couldn't find much except this name, Skywalker. Vader's entire body tensed, his hands balled into fists, and his anger trembled into the Force, cracking the transparent steel window that separated him from the vacuum of space. Skywalker. Darth Vader's rage increased. For 18 years, he thought he was alone. He thought his family was dead. His master, Emperor Palpatine, told Vader that he had killed his beloved wife Padme, and along with her, their unborn child. But the Sith Lord had lied. For 18 years, Vader had devoted himself to nothing but hate, rage, and murder. He was a hollow husk of the dark side, executing mission after mission for the benefit of Palpatine. While he had dreamt that he would one day defeat his master and become the most powerful figure in the galaxy, that was never really his ambition. Since he was a young Jedi Knight, he had only wanted one thing, to protect those that he loved. In the pursuit of that, he betrayed the Jedi Order and aligned himself with the Sith. He had betrayed everyone who had ever trusted him and killed so many who had loved him. But Vader only did those horrible things to protect the life of Padme, the woman he loved more than anything else. When she died, so did his humanity. So he threw himself into the dark side. He became a tool for Palpatine to use, because he hated himself and he hated what he had become. Skywalker. Vader's mind raced with thoughts. All this time wasted, Palpatine had lied. His son had survived and he was strong in the Force. Vader would find him, wash away all the foolish teachings of Obi-Wan Kenobi and bring him to the dark side, or kill him in the pursuit of that. But if we look at the Sith Lord a bit closer, it never really seemed like Vader would do that. Vader only used the dark side to save those he loved. Even in the pursuit of new abilities and power, his use of the dark side was motivated by his love of Padme. When she died, Vader blamed himself and the Jedi who had torn the galaxy apart with their foolish clone war. From that moment on, he used the dark side to impose his dark will across the galaxy. But if he ever said that he wanted power just for the sake of subjugating those below him, he was lying. He just wanted to protect or bring back the people he had loved. Even now, when he claimed that he would convert Luke to the dark side, and if not, that Luke would die, Vader was lying. He would never kill Luke. As the dark side consumed his spirit, manipulating him through fear, anger, and hate, it might be easy to lose sight of the single most important truth about Vader. He would do anything for his family. He destroyed the entire Jedi Order for Padme. He eventually would destroy the Sith for Luke. Skywalker. When Boba Fett reported that name to Vader, he must have felt a tidal wave of emotions. Anger at those who lied to him, shame for the years of murder that he committed because he was in such agony, regret for the time missed. Was it too late for him? Now that he had a son, now that he wasn't alone, now that he wouldn't have to live with that anguish, could he connect with his child? Or had he gone too far? Was he too great a monster? Was the shame of his atrocities too great to redeem? He must have struggled with all these questions and more in that moment after discovering that the boy who destroyed the Death Star was his son, Luke Skywalker.